In aesthetic accident news submitted by XYZ, an influencer is defending her decision to post photos of her motorcycle accident on Instagram. I like this one. <laughs> I don't know this one. This one's so good. Wait, okay. did somebody like get hurt? Okay, so this her, is next oh level God. shit. Was she like on the floor going, ah, I got hurt? <laughs> this is where it's all about. I hope not. I just laughed really hard at <laughs> it. Oh, I just got hurt. Because we know people like that. We didn't? I mean, not a specific person, but I think there's a lot of people that you can see them and like go, that. oh, you That's fucking it's going. shady That's bitch. No, this shit is the Steve Jobs 1984 Apple commercial of the influencer medium. I promise like you. Like the one where she smashes Where the... she throws the hammer through the screen, like to to destroy this the This is gonna revolutionize yeah. influencing. That's what this Okay, I, want, I can't wait. Okay, so her name is Tiffany Mitchell. She has over 211,000 followers on Instagram. She's based in Nashville. And so she shared these very professional shots of her motorcycle accident. And a very, very lengthy post. So this is the first photo in her- Ooh, what did she say? In her carousel. Oh, that's cute. It's a carousel. She's hot. It's like when there's multiple the slideshow thing. The oh, okay. They're called carousels. Um, so then, this is the next one. So it's what like, is this real? <laughs> that's why I like Did it. Did she like call her photographer? <laughs> I love this shit so. Here's bad. another one. <laughs> Smart oh, water. Oh my god! It's a fucking brand deal. Did she really get in an accident though? Wait, is that a tattoo or it's like a, ash? It's a staged accident. Are you kidding? Me? She ends the caption with. I'm resting and healing up my arm, and her tattoo artist may need to touch up my wildflowers, but I'm feeling so much better, and guys, I am beyond grateful. But the rest of the caption, she's talking about how that was, like, the first photo is her and her bike about an hour before she got into the accident. Um, she said that oh she was God. shooting photos with the photographer before this, and there, that's, there's the first photo to <laughs> prove it. But this chick, like the photographer, was still shooting away. Oh, okay. After like she got into her accident. No, those are stay. Instead of getting yeah. help. I mean, that guy was helping her. I love how they had enough time to lift the bike back up and stage it behind in the back background with the guy picking her up. And they're like, yeah. wait, get the smart water. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Go ahead. Is it really a brand deal? Label so, out. It's a. It's, it so looks like a brand did, deal. Like, oh no. Okay. No, no. The journalists <laughs> did look into whether or not this was a brand deal with Smart Water, and Smart Water said no. They don't. Of course, have they're gonna say no. Brand deal. Like they don't have any association with her or anything. And so, but anyway, she's she's talking about how three years ago she lost her partner to a motorcycle accident. And in the caption, that's what she's saying. In the that first long caption. That's and so she's weird. Saying, like you know, was, I was yeah. devastated uh, whether or not I was gonna get back on a bike. Um, but then she ends up saying that. But with smart water, it gave her the courage <laughs> to get back on the bike. That's right. That's exactly right. So then she's saying that strangers, strangers came to her aid and like with smart water cleaned her up in the ambulance. With smart water. Um, oh, but the way she got into the accident, by the way, is that she she misjudged the curve and she took it too fast and her bike went off the road and she slid through the grass and she hit the pavement. Oof. Um, her head was fine because of her because of her helmet, but she did scrape her left side. And she was just like, I was just left in absolute shock on the side of the road. I was uh, so thirsty after my motorcycle accident. I just needed a drink of water and, a, and this innocent person came by and gave me smart water. Guys, you could take my picture from when I had kidney stones when I'm getting loaded in the ambulance or, or when I'm like laying on, I'm laying on my back from when I had kidney stones and I'm in Costa Rica. And you put, you, you could Photoshop a fucking sip matcha yeah. Drink in my hand as I'm laying there like this. You go ahead and you do that. You can use that shit. You, dude, there we need to start doing this kind of shit. This shit's dude. genius. And it's so, professional photos and damn. So then this went uh, viral in the sense that people were like, how the fuck do you just share this? Like, and then like, this is taking it too far. Like these photos are too professional. They, they obviously look so staged. Then color corrected like a Please motherfucker. Please tell me this is real. Um, Please tell me she didn't troll us. She's sticking to her saying that this was real. Oh, by the way, I gotta mention, even in the BuzzFeed article, they like throw her under the bus a little bit cause then- Under the bike. Yeah, under the bike, <laughs> yeah. nice. Um, cause she ends up saying, um, my mom, she said, I'm sad that some people are taking it that way. And then this is the article saying, <coughs> She add, bless you. She added before requesting bus food board. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, not you want some smart water? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'll have some sip. Yeah. There, you go. there, you go. there we go. But yeah, the article says before requesting BuzzFeed News not to re to proceed with writing this story as it would 
quote, draw negative attention. But then they still shared it, and then that's how I drew negative attention to her page. Oh and then so she ends up God. posting this photo here with her bike, and then this really, really long caption. I'm not gonna read it all. Yo, the ego on know. these fucking influencers are just uh, hilarious. Oh yeah. I love it. Please, please keep this alive. Never change. But in that please in that boy. photo that I'm that I just showed you, she's saying that um she has been getting a lot of negative reactions because of the Negative? Article. You mean realistic reactions? <laughs> the people calling you out on your fucking bullshit? You're like, you're a hater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, nah, dude, we're not, no one's <laughs> hating. People are just like, do you think we're that fucking dumb? So that you stage said, a photo shoot? She said that BuzzFeed's, BuzzFeed News posted sensationalizing what she went through that day and making a mockery of the post that she shared. She sensationalized herself. I feel like she's making a mockery of like her boyfriend that died. Yeah. I think it's one thing if you want to do like a creative sort yeah. of, I don't know. Like, memorial? Yeah, or? memorial or like something creative because you, you do take a lot of photos. Like I thought maybe that's what she was doing. Mm. She, this it is what it looked like, like she, when we fell off the motorcycle yeah. together. Like if she were to do that, <laughs> I would respect it more. Yeah. Still weird. This is where my boyfriend is, died. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drink smart water. <laughs> it's just so random and weird. It's fucking weird. Because she's also profiting off death, right? Like of a loved one. Well, what if it's not even her, well, okay, it is her fault, but uh, her photographer was like, oh, this is this is some good content. And he was the one snapping away. <laughs> He's a fucking that she was like, Did you get that? Let's get that, let's get that. You know I mean, what I mean? Yeah, I, it could be anyone's idea on that team. They're all morons for doing it together. From the fucking model that d decided, this is awesome, girl. Yeah, like, look dead and shit. I'll fucking pick you oh up. Wait, we need the motorcycle, you know? And then they're staging all this stuff. The person holding the bounce board not saying shit, just mm -hmm. like laughing or whatever. Everyone's fucked up. <laughs> you know, it's um, funny too that the article, in my opinion, did not exaggerate or make a mockery out of her story. Like, they're literally just placing the facts there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did get excerpts of the comment section. So like one comment says, you had an accident and you still were taking photos and then rolling your eyes. And another one says, huh? You had a serious accident, but people were there to take stunning photos. This is an insult to people who get into accidents. Put a helmet on. Oh, because people were really upset. That she didn't even have a helmet on? No, they were really upset that she was portraying that you should <clears throat> move someone and remove oh. the helmet after they've had an accident because that could just do way more damage to the person right after yeah. they had a, an, an accident. Well, she doesn't look cute in the helmet. The no. hair just, you right. know, it yeah. looks better it like laying out on the ground. What was the BuzzFeed headline title oh, the of the BuzzFeed. article? Because it doesn't matter what they actually say, it matters about the headline because no one else is actually. That's true. Well, it was People don't like to read. To read. No. So it says, an influencer is defending her decision mm -hmm. to post a photo shoot of her motorcycle accident on Instagram. Okay, Which so is that's literally not... what happened. So the caption mainly uh, focused on her ex, or like the boyfriend that passed? That was it? No, or what was, was she in, focusing that on? Was, there was a lot of things that were being focused. So she <laughs> took a photo shoot, she misjudged how she got into the accident, um, how she was so scared because of, like she brought in the, the boyfriend because of like her connection, her emotional connection to how traumatic that yeah, yeah. experience is. She wanted to fall off the same way her boyfriend did. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm weird. I think I'm weird and this is unpopular opinion, but I... I got your back no matter what. <laughs> we'll see. Do it, do it. Uh, no, I think it's unpopular opinion, but like, I don't see this different. Yeah, she took it to another level, but different than whatever, like a lot of other people are It's doing. just fucking funny. You know what I mean? Like, we know of- That's not of, unpopular. We That's know what of, everyone's doing. We know of people, yeah, so I'm like, why are you guys bashing on her? Why are there articles written when I've seen people go like, oh, my dog, like, uh, died, and then like, they're like, like, it looked like it was like really fake and forced. Yeah, and, and they still have a Snapchat yeah, filter with like flowers, like, oh, my dog died. <laughs> the fucking flowers are still going around. Yeah, I think the, the thing here that really rubbed people the wrong way is the photos themselves. It's, so it's just like, they're so staged and beautiful. Explained. Okay, so when it's explained that she was already taking pictures, like the, the photographer was probably already waiting there because that they they did that photo maybe seven, eight times. They rehearsed and, the fall five times? No, not the fall. Oh. And then he just kept snapping away and she was just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, at least I got this content or whatever. Yeah, and maybe like, edgy. A lot of people too were like, okay, fine. Your, your photographer friend kept taking photos. 
that's fucking weird. Like, yeah. why don't you call the ambulance? Yeah, he would like be there for you, not. But he away. saw the but art like, happening. It was yeah. live art happening. Like, like this chick is on the on another level than the rest of us. She's an, actually innovating, and we're hating. You know what I'm saying? She's actually moving that's the medium weird. forward, and we're being haters. So then that's like one level of like that's fucking weird. But then where she just <laughs> really took it over the top is the fact that she posted it and like went mm. all in. The so, smart the, water bottle just did it for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I get the photo. That's I mean the first layer is the photo shoot thing, right? And then that one can be kind of weird. But I'm I'm just imagining the photo shoot, and he's like, all right, stay there. Uh, can you um get over and grab her? And she's like in fucking pain. She's like, my arm's fucking broken. Bottle? Can yeah. I? Okay. Like everything is fallen and yeah. toppled over like an accident, but the the bottle is. Up, and she's right? laying yeah. pretty. The model did the perfect fucking land. Yeah, I know. You could do this a thousand times off a motorcycle. You're not going to get it to land, dude. Wait, did she oh, the did she the bottle them? wasn't there to begin with. No. It was brought in later. Yeah, oh. exactly. To give her water. To give her water. She did tag the photographer, the friend, and her tattoo artist saying that he's going to have to touch her up. Did, did she tag smart water? Because no, sometimes I feel tag. like people will do, like, um, they'll take a picture. Like, if I wanted you guys to pay attention to me, I'd take a picture and then tag sips and all of you so yep. that you'd see it. So maybe she's, like, like fishing for brandy. Yeah. yeah. And no, she's so smart. She said in her, that second post defending it, she said that she's opened up about miscarriage, divorce, anxiety, losing her partner. With the, all with the professional photo shoot. So navigating the, free, the grief that followed. So she <laughs> says that she chooses Instagram as a tool for healing and connecting with other humans who may be going through the similar things. <laughs> Fucking Joe party of one over there. Hey, look, it's funny. I'll party of two. I want to go to a mall, I'll fake a heart attack, and you guys lay lay a Sparrow pizza next to me. Just a single slice. Just on the plate. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. This is but probably one of the best things of this generation. It's amazing. This generation shares too goddamn much. Where I'm just like, This is fucking amazing. But I, I'm just not those people that are gonna go and comment some fucking hateful shit. This or like, what are you doing this? I, I just move on. But this generation watched you and they go, I wanna be like Geo. And they think that this is that. That's what's magic. Don't you understand? You're part of the problem. Fuck. Yep. I'm, I'm signing off here. Never see me again. Okay. But uh, addressing the whole sponsorship thing, though, she did say that she makes it very clear whenever she is working with brands, and like mm. she's, she'll never like she didn't hide it because it wasn't a sp sponsorship and she wasn't faking it. Did she say she's open to working with Smartwater in the future? Because Smartwater does so. influencer stuff. Yeah. They do a lot of influence. I hope she gets a, a sponsorship from Smartwater. This was very creative. I love what? Yeah. What? For the past fucking 12 <laughs> minutes, you were the opposite fucking. <laughs>